Hi, this is Tally and welcome to Buildu.com. I'm here at the 2009 Solar Power International Conference in Anaheim, California, and I'm here with Genevieve from National Semiconductor, and she's going to be talking to us about the um, Solar Magic Power Optimizers, uh, a new technology actually that the company's uh, created. So, hi, Genevieve. Hi, how are you doing? Thanks so much for stopping by. No problem. So, uh, let's talk about the product. I'd love to. So, what the Solar Magic Power Optimizers are, are a way for you to get the most out of your array in the most reliable manner and in the most flexible way too. What they do is they uh, do localized maximum power point tracking and they decouple the solar module from the string itself. And by doing that, the the panels that are underperforming no longer drag down the entire string and nor the entire array. In addition, they perform a, a, a balancing act, if you like. They, they sense their voltage and their current environments, and they adjust both of those parameters to make sure that every bit of energy that can be harvested by the system is. The power optimizer is actually a new market category that we've helped create in the solar world. And what these do is they help the, the end customer get the absolute best out of their PV system. It does this in a few ways. Uh, what most people don't realize is that uh, any kind of mismatch in a system can cause serious disproportionate loss in the amount of energy that they can harvest. Um, the simplest way to think about this is in terms of shading, but of course that's not the only source of mismatch. Think about what happens when shade is cast over a, a solar module. Of course, not as many photons are hitting the module, so not as much power is generated. That's pretty intuitive, but what's not intuitive is that usually you lose significantly more energy than you'd imagine. For example, we've seen that as little as 10% shading can cause as much as 50, 50% power loss, which really is unacceptable. Now, it's not the fault of the module makers or the inverter makers. This is just something that's built into the physics of electronics and electrical theory. Uh, what we've done is with this, with this product, we've come up with a way to work around that and I'll explain to you if I can a little bit about how we go about doing that. Um, over here you have the inputs and over here you have the outputs and effectively at the inputs we perform a localized maximum power point tracking. Now what that means is that all of the energy being generated by the module is able to be captured by this device. Uh, many people will be familiar with the voltage and current curve or the maximum power point that occurs in the voltage power curve. Because the modules are no longer connected to the inverter from a maximum power point voltage setting perspective, every panel can now be made to perform at its optimal operating point. And that in itself is fantastic, but that's not all that this product does. Um, Many installers will be familiar with the idea that if one of the solar modules is reduced in current production, if somehow that current is being pinched, that actually affects the current of the entire string. So if you think about what I said, that you can lose 50% of your power, and you know that power is equal to voltage times current, you know that if you drop the, the current in one module, you're actually dropping the current in the entire string. So if you drop the current by half, you're dropping the string current by half, and because P equals VI, you're dropping the string power by half. So you're losing so much more than you should just because a little bit of mismatch exists in one module. So let's go back. At the front end of Solar Magic, we have maximum power point tracking algorithms. We decouple that from the entire system. At the output, we sense the voltage and the current environment and the solar magic devices that are installed on every module in that string, but not necessarily on every string, the solar magic devices in that string sense their environment. And the, the devices that need to increase the current to make sure that the other modules aren't affected and losing uh, harvestable energy because they're not able to put out the right amount of current, those are compensated for. And other solar magic modules will take care of the voltage and help the inverter operate at its optimal point. So overall what happens is that the solar magic devices help at the, at the panel level, they help at the string level, and they also help the overall health of the system.
a thing to notice is that because National comes from a background of analog expertise and most particularly in the power management area, we're extremely good at creating high, high efficiency power products. And what we've been able to do as a result is create a product that, that works at higher efficiency than any other product in this space. The, the, the efficiency of this device is 98.5%, which is astoundingly high. So in addition to being able to get more power out of your array by using these, there are a few other flexible flexibility benefits. Now, uh, installers might face some situations where they have to choose between giving, for example, a homeowner um, an array that gives them the, the most output power that they possibly can, or an array that looks nice with the system. With, with power optimizers from Solar Magic, you can actually do both because we act, allow uh, strings to be installed with different lengths, with no, no power degradation. Um, it, it is possible to do it now but it's very poor design practice and you will lose a significant amount of power because you're deliberately introducing mismatch. And I just explained that that, that causes disproportionate losses. Um, another thing that you can do with uh, Solar Magic is have different modules on the same string with different orientations. So you can, for example, in the Northern Hemisphere, use the south-facing facet of a roof and the west-facing facet of a roof and have those modules in the very same string and you're going to harvest all that energy instead of losing most of it. Okay, so uh, can we talk a bit about the installation? Yeah, absolutely. Installing these products is extremely simple. Um, if you go to our website, you can see me doing it. And if I can do it, I'm not an installer. Anyone can do it. Uh, you simply take the outputs of the solar module and connect them to our standard connectors. We have MC3, MC4, Tyco, and HNS connectors so far. You connect the outputs of the solar module to the inputs of the power optimizer from Solar Magic. And then, if you take the outputs of the Solar Magic devices, they end up looking like the outputs of the module. You connect them positive to negative, positive to negative, just as you would in an existing array. Now, the benefit of that is not just for new installations. Um, you can actually go and retrofit installations that you know are underperforming, and that could use some help in, in the form of mismatch. They, they need to get rid of the mismatch. You use power optimizers in just one string, several strings, or all strings. You can cherry pick the location you want to go. But it takes me uh, completely inexperienced and I tend to drop tools a lot. It takes me about three and a half minutes maximum to install one of these. Uh, it's very simple to use. If you have a look at, at the back here, you can see that there's a, a, a cross hatching here where you can simply slide in the bracket we provide in any direction that you like. So you can install Solar Magic with any orientation that's necessary for your particular system to make it um, either the most beautiful or the best hidden. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for talking to us. Thanks so much. This is Tali from Builder.com reporting to you from the 2009 Solar Power International Conference in Anaheim, California. Thank you.